This is a late game guide that'll get you to rounds 300 plus no problem. To start, we are going to load up logs on easy with Adora as our hero. She is by far the best late game hero, but if you want an AFK strat, you can just use Brickle or Ezeli. Now that we've started the game, we're going to farm like crazy. And since we're on easy, this won't be hard at all. Just make sure you don't leak too much because losing would be embarrassing. Anyway, I opted for six 420 farms, eating them with a 105 village and getting the farms back again. This will give us tons of money to work with going forward. Next, we're going to get a VTSG. If you don't know what this is, you can click the card in the top right to see a video on it, but you're going to get a 2221 VTSG in the water. This means that we'll place a 031 Ice Monkey near the water and place down a Super Monkey on the frozen pond. Then we'll proceed to sacrifice 50k worth of primary, military, and magic monkeys to the Sun Temple, and then we'll get a door to level 20 and place down a 250 and 205 Super Monkey near the beginning of the track. Finally, we'll sacrifice 50k worth of all four types of monkeys to the true sun god, making a VTSG. And after both of these sacrifices, remember to place down a village buffing the VTSG so it can see camos. Then we'll get this guy to a 520 super monkey and buff it with a 520 permabrew alchemist. Now we're going to get some sun temples down. You can fit quite a few of these guys, but four or five will do the job. Sun temples can only take three of the four types of monkey buffs, so you can pick and choose what buffs you want to give it. In super simple terms, primary magic and military add damage to the sun temples, while the support category will buff everything in the temple's range. At least one of the sun temples needs to be a support temple to buff the VTSG. Personally, I like to make a few of them support temples so I have a global buff, but it is up to you. Then we'll fly the Permabrew Elk around to all the temples to make sure they are buffed. Once we have all the temples up, we can start with the normal buffs. We're going to place down a 050 engineer and as many 040 engineers as you want. And we're going to tech bot these guys to the VTSG to keep it permanently overclocked. Then we will place down a 250 village and two 240 villages around the VTSG and we will offset their abilities so the VTSG is permabuffed by these villages as well. Next we will place down a portable lake and get a 5xx submarine and buccaneer to buff the VTSG and lower all of our cooldowns and this is why we put the VTSG in the water. After that we will get a 050 ninja and three 040 ninjas for their abilities. We will offset these guys as well so their sabotage will always be up. Then we will get an x5x glue gunner and tech bot him as well. Then all we need is a 520 Ice Monkey, 520 Sniper, a 025 Ice Monkey, a 025 Glue Gunner, a 520 Bomb Shooter, and a 105 Alchemist. After you get all of these support guys down, you can fill the track with 204 Super Monkeys as their damage per size is pretty good. And on the outside of the track, you can place 420 Snipers for some more utility where the Super Monkeys won't be as useful. Then we'll fly the Alchemist around to buff everything with a 250 Helicopter. The final thing we need to do is start using Adora's Blood Sacrifice. Since she is level 20, we will need to sacrifice $2,000 worth of value to get her max buff. And the Sun Temples will make this a bit tricky, so I was just sacrificing a 100 Super Monkey every time I needed it. Unfortunately, you need to do the sacrifice manually, but it is super easy to keep this buff up 100% of the time, and it makes your VTSG's range global and doubles its attack speed. But if you do all these things, you should make it super far into free play.